All right, guys, today we're at a Holly Ford Fest 2024 and we're interviewing Matthew Glasscock in his 2009 S197 Drift Mustang. All right, what's up, Matthew? What's up, man? Hey, uh, so we're here at Holly Ford Fest 2024, and you brought out your S197. That's right, the first Godzilla swap uh, drift car, actually. Um, so this unit right here, 2009 uh, Mustang GT, right? I'm gonna jump right into the, to the, the go, gooey part, go. the good stuff right here. Factory Ford uh, crate engine, 7.3 out of like a newer Super Duty, 21 and up. Uh, we put a BTR camshaft in this thing, BTR intake, ultimate headers on it. Uh, it's ran off Holly EFI, of course. Of course, it has to. Of course. Uh, dude, this thing, it, it rips. It absolutely rips. It makes 510 horsepower, 480 foot-pounds of torque to the tire through an ACT dual disc clutch, uh, Ben Calamer Stage 3 MT82, carbon fiber QA1 drive shaft, and of course, we got the Yukon axles and everything in the Oh, rear. yeah, Yukon axles in this thing? Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> crazy torque, right? <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to make sure, because, I mean, an 8.8's tough, but OEM axles are only so good. Yeah, you yeah. Know? No, so. that's freaking crazy. So, Godzilla motor. Yes. You got the cam in it. Those headers look absolutely beautiful. You guys did a killer job on that. Yeah. Uh, so, it's it's got some spice to it, right? A little spice. Okay, we'll get a sound clip and throw it in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I saw you pulling in, and I was mm -hmm. working on Isaac's car, and I was yeah. like, hold on, hold on, let me... Let me focus, I'll go to them. <laughs> oh yeah. So what do you got for a cooling? So uh, we got a DeWitt's uh, radiator here and then just a OEM like GT fan. I do want to do like a GT, I think it's GT350 or GT500 fan uh, to give me a little more room gotcha. between the balancer and the fan. Um, the sound that you love so much, uh, four inch oval, single. Four inch oval, single exhaust. Yes. Yeah. This thing's got a sound. I can't wait to hear it on the track. <laughs> oh, dude, it, I'm not scared of the limiter on this thing. Uh, I probably should be, but I'm not. Uh, it, dude, I love it. it. It makes all the wonderful noises. <laughs> dude, you know, yeah, I can't sure. wait to hear it. But uh, yeah, so we built this car in-house, uh, me and the whole team. Uh, we designed this thing top to bottom, full CAD, everything uh, from, <laughs> from the tubular front half, the tubular back half. Of course, it's got our proprietary Synergy race development angle kit on it, uh, the GT500 big brake, um, handbrake and uh, dual caliper brackets, to our anti squat brackets, to our upper control arm that's billet, to our upper control arm mount to allow you to adjust instant center billet control arms. Well, this thing is everything. done up, brother. Uh, we, we spared no expense uh, and no amount of time stopped us. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it looks beautiful. I've already looked over the car once and I mean, just the craftsmanship. And I asked you, I was like, so is this a pro car? It, we tried to build it as close to the pro spec rule book as we physically could. The only thing different between this car and like a pro spec car would be, uh, I'm probably about a hundred, a hundred to 200 horsepower shy of most of the guys. And then I'm still front mount radiator. Most of those guys gotcha, are rear mount, the rear mount radiator. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's as close as you can get. So um, we've got the tube front end. Mm -hmm. that you guys created. Yes. A comment below if I should do this to my S197. <laughs> and then I see we got some over fenders here. We do. Well, this is actually a brand new product that we just released, uh, I believe last week. Uh, full ABS thermoformed plastic overs for this thing. Uh, they fit, dude, the, the fitment on these things. You can just, you can look how well it all lines up. It's great. Uh, a good friend of ours, uh, Larry, he's a, uh, like a SIM car designer. So okay. he's actually built this car and my S550 uh, for a set of Corsa, like in the same one for one, uh, based off CAD and everything to a T. Dude, this guy went through and put uh, like the, uh, the eyelets on the wires oh. in, in the game. Golly. Like it's, it's crazy, it's crazy the level, but he actually designed this body kit um, and then we found somebody that could manufacture it for us and brought it to you guys, brought it to the market, you know? Um, yeah, I did notice how much wider the rear is, yeah. which, you know, what it actually reminds me, I'm a, people kind of refer to me as the Mopar guy, Okay. right? All right. But like, I have a Shelby lamp, so for mm -hmm. the longest time, big Shelby guy. So when they did the wide body Super Snakes, 
This is what it kind of reminds me of. So when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, that's a look so right that's, there. So uh, that's kind of where this yeah. came from. The Shelby 1000? There was uh, a little bit of inspiration there from uh, Shelby. Dude, I'm just gonna throw this out here right now. Shelby, um, Shelby kills it on like anything that they do and they design. Oh yeah, they always yeah. kill it. Huge Shelby fan. Oh yeah. So you did mention in the rear, we've got the rear bash bar set up as well. Yep, whole tubular back half. You can purchase this off our website. Um, it comes with instructions where to cut your frame, weld the plates on, and then we send you the main structure here. We send you the bash bars that bolt on, and then also optional uh, adjustable, not adjustable, excuse me, um, tail light uh, mounts that can actually like swivel out of the way. So like, uh, if you're like me and you like to get close to walls and you, you tend to hit things, right? So you, you smash this in, so this will actually Oh yeah, dude, Move look in. at that. That way you're not having to like, you know, remake your tail light buckets and mounts and stuff all the time, right? And if these get bent, you just bend them back or order more. <laughs> so I gotta admit, I have the, the Raxium with like V3 tail lights, are really pretty mm -hmm. expensive ones. Yep. And uh, my buddy Jordan gave me crap. He's like, wow, you spent so much money on the rear end. It's probably the first thing that's gonna go. So before yep. last weekend's event, I put my stock tail lights in and yep. he came over and he's like, well, what happened? I was like, I told you, <laughs> dude, you never know. Like, I got scared. Yeah. No, uh, dude, I went, to, um, I went to the salvage yard actually and bought every OEM pair of the 05 to 09 lights that I could find. I was like, might as well, I know I'm gonna break them. Now, yeah. I'm gonna take that little nugget and put it in my pocket and go do the same thing in Austin. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, it's, it's bound to happen. Oh yeah, dude, they were selling them to me for like 20 bucks a pair. I was like, yeah. Yeah, you can't beat them. Not even eBay has them that cheap. Yeah, and then of course, um, so <clears throat> I'm very old school Mustang guy. I grew up around Mustangs and everything. So a lot of the things on this car, um, I can attribute to that, right? So if, if you know anything about the older Mustangs, the gas fill was in the back yeah, of the cars, right? Center, yeah. So I wanted to do the same thing here. So we bought one of these fuel lab kits here. Uh, I made a, um, essentially like a bushing to go into the Holly uh, top hat there for the fuel pump. That way I could feel from the rear. And of course this floats separately from the bumper and the quarters and all that stuff. But then arguably the coolest detail to the car, it's the first one anyone that sees the car points out and I love it, oh. is the dash. Yes, it's the first thing I said. I said, okay. So wood grain dash, I actually ordered a, uh, like an OEM replacement uh, Mustang little dash plaque there for it. Um, long story short, uh, as a child, the first memory I have of a Mustang and when I think of race car is, is this memory. And it was me sitting in the passenger seat of a 70 Mach 1 that had the wood grain dash. So I relate wood grain dashes to Mustangs and race cars and just fond memories. So I wanted to pull that in to the new build. Yeah, I love it. And uh, what seats are we running here? Uh, they're the NRG Prisma seats. NRG Prisma. Oh, yeah. same thing. You got the head containment seat over there? Yes. Uh, and your cage, is this cage kits? It's a cage kits cage. Yes. Oh, it looks really good. Dude, uh, cage kits, uh, they killed it, dude. The fitment was great. Um, a local shop to me, Next Motorsports, who builds like high-end drag cars. I uh, took the car to them because uh, Isaac over there is a phenomenal TIG welder. And um, I was like, here, put this together. And he's like, dude, that's the easiest cage I've ever done. Good. They just, it just clicked together, super simple. So shout out to them on that. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm looking at cage kits once I'm prepared to delete my AC and like cut up my dash even more and all that kind of stuff. As a fab guy, I'm telling you right now for the price they sell these cages for, you, you can't do one by hand that price yeah. there's just no way i'm a bolt-on boy i'm not a fab guy so yeah well this is yeah. as close to bolt-on as you can get yeah. the cages you know but as far as uh as far as the rest of the car goes um of course all of our suspension and stuff like that on it uh bc coilovers just off the shelf you know okay just off the shelf bcs now i am running uh 5k rear springs and 14k front springs um i may i may beef up the front springs uh for next season I, I think I could use another two or four K on the front. Who, uh, uh, the Davy Peoples do your co coilovers? Yeah. Yeah, same here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I am thinking about beefing that up because to be fair, the, uh, the only real downside to the Godzilla is it is an iron block, right? So it weighs like right at a hundred pounds more than a Coyote. Oh, wow. Um, uh, but to be fair, I scaled the car out. It weighed 2930 and without me in it, 
and the weight split on this was um, 52-48. Oh, that's actually currently. That's really good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. Um, but I would like to get it closer to 50-50, you know, because I'm a grip snob at times. <laughs> what? Uh, honestly. I come from the world of grip, so I completely understand. Yeah. Like, yeah, I love grip. Yeah, like I want, I would love to have so much grip that I'm forcing myself to take it out instead of trying to find it. Yeah. You know? uh, it's a lot easier to take it out than it is to, to find it a lot of times, you know? Yeah, I'm in the, I'm in the opposite problem. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> <laughs> Saw that actual car. I'm like, uh, tire pressures? <laughs> what tires do you run? So uh, currently right now, I've brought out some Kendas, the new Kenda Vezdas. Okay. Um, just they're to be honest i mean they're they're budget friendly tire yeah of you course. know i've ran uh, like i have gt radials on the front um i love gt radials uh, but the, the price on those is just a little more pricey than yeah. what i want to pay for an event like this exactly right? i'm using um accelerator 651 sports yeah uh, same thing as isaac we're both running the same tire mm -hmm. um i'm testing tire sizes out i'm at 245 mm -hmm. going up to 255 and mm -hmm. so on yeah. and so forth Okay. But yeah, you're at 285, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I would love to have, if, if Justin Bauer doesn't watch out, I'll steal his 315s for this weekend at one point. Yeah, I think we can I think we can talk him into uh, letting you do that. <laughs> yeah. I would like I'll, to see some tire I would, smoke. I would love to get this thing on some 315s. But... Well, I think there's only one thing left to do if the rain doesn't stop us. See, Ford Fest 2024, you know, we're here to fight the hurricane. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty know? much. Yeah, so oh. we'll see what happens. Um, so I think there's only one thing left to do, and that's to uh, hear you rip it. We can do it. Let's go. Let's do it. Because of the weather, I was worried there would not be a lot of drift sessions and decided to not ride along with Matt and just capture him drifting from different angles. I was only able to film two drift sessions, and I figured you guys would enjoy the raw drift footage of the Godzilla-powered Synergy Race Development S197. Enjoy. <laughs> Alright guys, that is Matt's car. This S197 is absolutely insane. It gives me a goal to work for. So guys, make sure you follow him on social media right here. Check him out. Give him a follow. Give him some love. And hopefully we see you at another event, brother. Absolutely. Uh, one last question. So yes. we know where we're at. We know where you've been. We know where you're at. Yep. What's the future for you and this car? So... Oh, oh I don't know if I want to give this away yet. Oh, uh, um, you don't have to. You no, don't have to. No, hear me out. Uh, <laughs> I'll say this, I am going to try to go uh, next year, 2025, and do some uh, Pro-Am series and maybe okay. maybe get a Pro license. Okay, here we go. You know? That's good. That's moving forward. I like that. So that's that's kind of where my head's at right now. If I do anything with the Pro license, it's still up in the air. Okay. I, I want to I try it, right? Yeah. You have to, I mean, with that, you got to try it. Exactly. Like you're, you're already there. Exactly. Might as well. Well, Matthew, thank you so much, dude, and we'll catch you hey. the next time. Thank you, brother.